All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back. Okay, so in this video, we're gonna learn how to void and delete our clients outstanding invoices in QuickBooks Online. And I'll explain the difference between delete and void in a second once we get there. So from the QuickBook homepage, QuickBooks homepage, you can see you have open invoices, overdue, paid in the last 30 days. Ultimately, like this really just comes down to people that aren't gonna pay you. Say you put together a big business proposal, send it to your potential client and they agree to it. You shot them a QuickBooks online invoice and they just, you just never heard from them ever again. And now your QuickBooks is all jacked up. So what you're going to, want to do is go to your customers who haven't paid you yet. And okay. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. I've got six open balances and I know these people aren't going to pay me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to go up here and these three little icons, click on the right one and search your invoice you're looking for. Usually I just go by the name or the outstanding balance. It's easier for me to distinguish. So here's my 13750 invoice 1018 and it's right hit down here, San, San Diego County escrow. These punks wasted a lot of time and didn't want to pay me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here to more and I'm going to click delete or void. Now it's really up to you. Voiding changes the amount of the bill payment to zero but it keeps a record of it in QuickBooks. Deleting just permanently removes the bill or payment from your QuickBooks. So I'm just gonna click void so I have a record of this company just for feedback purposes and just, you know, what am I doing right? What am I doing wrong? Just to help me with conversion rates and stuff like that. Are you sure you wanna void this? Yes, I do. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is search all of the people that really haven't paid you and track them down. You can click more here if you're not finding it. Click on it's pretty much all these outstanding numbers, the people that haven't paid me, because if they did pay me, I would log it in and I would cre click create a receipt. So that's how we void or delete a customer's invoice in QuickBooks Online. Now this is set to zero anyways, I can just save it. So good luck with this. If you guys have any questions, let me know, paste them to the comment section, and I will see you guys in another video.